Excuse me, I'm Dr. Henry and I'm very busy. What do you want? I don't think she claimed to be the Chosen One, but she will ask about Vault 13. The Chosen One. Of course, that makes sense. Interesting. I'm afraid I can't help you. I was assigned to Cybergenetics Research, not the Vault Behavioral Project. Vault Behavioral? What's he talking about? Something about extreme sociological conditioning. Mind you, I thought it was all much mumbo-jumbo, not real science in it at all. But I did hear something about 13 having to be improvised during the course of the experiment. Sloppy work, I'd say. Yeah, what experiment? <laughs> oh my, I've said more than I should already. Never mind. And if anybody asks, I didn't say anything. Hold on. <laughs> what did he just divulge? Alright, it sounds like there's some kind of secret project. Research project into... Sociological conditioning, which might make sense for NCR. We saw those rules out front. Trying to uh, enforce people's behavior. But I don't know if, what he means by this. Maybe he's saying that he heard rumors that they're using Vault 13 as a research lab to conduct the experiments in? I don't know. Hold on, he did... You again, what do you want? <laughs> yeah, he was about to talk about cybergenetics. She wanted to hear about that. Oh, it's a whole new field. Very exciting. Why, I'm working on some projects right now. A radical new concept for the mutant problem, you see? It's really quite simple. Mutancy isn't absolute. It can be cured. Of course, my simple-minded colleagues were just trying to solve the whole problem with the crudest way possible. Purification, indeed. I'll admit there were some early problems, but I've got them worked out now, I think. In fact, you could help me perform the field testing. Asking Lily if she's interested. Yeah, what does he mean? I've prepared a small sample of the serum, but it needs to be injected into a host. I think she presumes a mutant, not her. Certainly not going to let him stick her with any needles. You, oh no. The serum's not refined enough to handle such a low mutagenic quotient. It must be used on a super mutant. Inject the serum into a super mutant and then come back and report the results. I understand Broken Hills is full of them. It's true. What does it do? It should cause a regression in the genetic matrix that results in the destabilization and assimilation of aberrant DNA, <laughs> leaving the host free of mutagenic potential. If I knew for sure, I wouldn't need you to test it. All right, explaining how she'd be part of some important experiment, and then realizing <laughs> she's asking about money. Well, I do have a Cyberhound MK2. I don't know what that stands for. Mark 2? Personal security model that I brought with me. I suppose I could have it activated and online by the time he got back. Would that do? Cyber, that would be perfect. <laughs> Excellent. Here's the serum. Fit it up in a stem hypo. All you have to do is use it on a super mutant and then report back to me. Like I said, Broken Hills. That's the best place to look. Wishing her luck. That's certainly interesting. Here it is. A strange organic concoction that could possibly reverse the mutation factor in humans. As long as uh, it doesn't anger the mutant when she <laughs> sticks this thing in his arm. Probably will. Alright. Otherwise it sounds easy enough. Especially to get, presumably, this thing. The dog. Bzzz. Alright. Doctor's papers. Or an empty hypodermic and some other supplies. A set of very detailed plans for a cybernetic canine guard unit 
With this and the right facilities, a person just might be able to build a robo-dog. It's interesting. How does that work? Just have to read it? Nope. Okay. It's already been... There's Miria. Yeah, give him Pookie the uh, medical supplies. All right, that's interesting. See, yeah, I should take a Robo Dog over uh, Solar Vic <laughs> any day. Well, I guess it should have to see it in action first. Maybe it's not that powerful. Yeah, it's really not clear what any of these buildings are. It's kind of funny just walking in. Or it's some kind of church. With a striking woman in a long robe. I don't think Lily can resist. <laughs> Greetings, child. Are you one of the enlightened? If she wants her to be. Please don't mock the Church of Hoobology. It's oppressors like you who make things hard for the rest of us. Oh dear, I'm all turbulent. <laughs> Apparently not too turbulent to trade. Alright. <laughs> so much for uh, good impressions. I don't have time for idiots. <laughs> Please go away. Alright. Hubology? Or hubology? Is that related to the hub? What are they talking about? Alright. Hospital. Okay. Might need to come here in the future. Because uh, presumably the doctor, an old, kindly-looking fellow. I'm Doc Jubilee. What's wrong, young miss? Actually, I don't think she does need a doctor. I don't know. Don't think I can save it. Might have to cut that leg off. <laughs> I don't think she finds the humor in that. Nope. Never joke. Best I cut that leg off before gangrene sets in. Yeah, it sounds like it must be crazy. Oh. Here's what he had to uh, trade. Oh, nothing. Alright. Yeah, I'm not sure she would come here for services then. She's gonna cut everybody's limbs off. All right, Dusty's Cantina. Sounds promising. A big, dumb-looking, and over-muscled lunk. Doesn't appear to be armed with weapons or wit. <laughs> All right. So this is probably Dusty, the owner, I guess. Dumpy-looking, bold guy, polishing a glass. What can I get you? Alright, asking what's in town. Not much. If you're looking for trouble, go drink someplace else, like the Rawhide. If you're looking for work, there's the Weston place west of town. That's actually what we're looking for. Heard some things about President Tandy looking for a specialist, too. Yeah, where is she? Don't know. Gunther, her aide, probably does. He's down at the Hall of Congress. Where is that, though? Or asking about the big guy. That's Hoss, President Tandy's boy. More trouble when he's drinking, so I'd stay clear of him if I were you. Yeah, sure enough, the same Tandy, daughter of President Aradash. President for years, does a good job, too. Alright. 
Whoops. Let's see what he had to offer. Oh, look at that. A pack of commies. On the back it says, Smoke a commie to do your bit for democracy and feel better. <laughs> Lower down, there's a health warning. As your doctor, I recommend commies for fresher breath and a winning smile. Gets cut off. You know what? Not that she'd make a habit of it, but... Uh, maybe her and Miria can share a few cigarettes. Maybe 40? What's he, is he having here? She's already got the booze for the guy at the Weston place. Yeah. Alright. It looks like there's about 10 in a pack. Alright. All right, so the Weston Ranch is to the west, <laughs> which makes sense. We're looking for the whole of Congress also. Yeah, I think they said in Broken Hills that they grow their own food. But I'd imagine uh, every settlement does. I don't know why they pointed that out as a, a unique feature. It's a... Oh yeah, you're the new guy in town. Guess she's squatting in this shed. All right. Oh, look at this. Here's the uh, Weston Ranch. All right, so we found that. So come back here. This is outside the association. Okay. Sheriffs. Hall of Congress. Don't know if it's downtown. It might be in a totally separate area. A young woman, very much a tomboy, dressed in work overalls. Standing next to a robot with tools and stuff. That certainly caught her attention. From all the grease and dirt on her, she's a hands-on tool type, especially since that maintenance Bot follows her everywhere. Mira's gonna get jealous. Oh my god! Somebody's gotta do something! What do I do? I need some help, quick! Oh god, it's Jack! He's threatening to blow up the power plant! There's no time, you have to stop him for me! You can do that, can't you? Yeah, I think she will help. She wants to know what they're about. Not sure who Jack is, though. 